Hello people of Earth, this is Jorge from MZ Studios and today I'm gonna show you how to create the photography studio lighting uh, using Cinema 4D. Ok, so let's start. First of all, we need to create a shape or text or something. I'm gonna add the text. I'm gonna write whatever you want, whatever I want. MZ Studios, ok. I'm gonna use uh, a font I'm gonna use um, by my forever okay now let's make it 3d uh, let's add extra narbs and put the text in extra narbs now as you can see it's 3d just saying let's make it like that okay caps fillet cap fillet cap uh, actually, this is not a tutorial about how to create um, a 3D text, so okay, I have already done a tutorial about that. Now let's create our um, lights, our studio lighting. I'm not gonna add any f uh, any lights, I'm just gonna add a plane, gonna make it bigger, like that, we put it high. Let's create a new material. I'm gonna add turn off specula and color, and I'm gonna add luminance. Uh, and uh, don't change anything here. It's completely completely ready. Add the material at your plane, and now uh, you just copy the first plane by uh, pressing Ctrl C and paste it by pressing Ctrl V. Now I'm gonna rotate it uh, 90, 90 degrees and I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and it's gonna and okay mm. fucking spawners okay and put it here now I'm gonna copy paste a copy and paste it again I'm gonna add one more plane here. Okay, let's make it a bit further. Now, if we pre render this out, render region, as you can see, uh, we can see that it has some really basic uh, lighting. Now, I'm gonna create a new material for the text. I'm gonna turn off specula, I'm gonna add reflection, texture, fresnel, brightness, 45%, um, yeah it's good, uh, mixed strength, 15%, uh, 15%, 15 uh, is good, and uh, choose a uh, color you want, I'm gonna add um, a blue one, yeah, like this, I like it. Now add this material at your text or shape or whatever. Okay. Now let's pre-render it. As you can see, it has a really nice uh, lighting and amazing, in my opinion. I really like this effect or how it's called. Okay. So I'm gonna show you one more thing, uh, actually, to to make it uh, look even better. Go here at the render settings or whatever. Um, I'm gonna add effect ambient occlusion and global illumination. Change the diffuse depth at to at two. Sorry, my English saying I know. And gamma three. Oh, three dot three. Okay. Uh, output uh, one thousand two hundred eighteen and height seven hundred. 20. Um, okay, I'm gonna s save as PNG. Um, let's desktop. Right, whatever you want. Okay, geometry. You have to change the uh, the aliasing at best. Ma make max level at like you know. I don't know how to say that. Okay and decrease the ray depth to 6 reflection depth to 2 and shadow depth to 6 again 
Okay, now it's ready to render it. Just find the per the best place for you, like I don't know here. Uh, yeah, and just press uh, this button here. So okay, that was a really quick tutorial. I know, and sorry for having uploaded for such a long time. We were me and Max the Great. We were actually very busy. Uh, not really. Actually, we were bored to create videos. But okay, um, I hope we will continue the uh, this channel. Please rate, like, comment, or do whatever you want. Bye.